Hello, I'm going to be doing the Word Project 1 safety training for you today. So the first thing you're going to do is in Blackboard go to Word 1 Project 1. Down here on the screen in Blackboard you'll see um, a support document, a start a file, and the instructions. You need to download all of those to your computer. So I'm going to open up my associate my logo. The instructions I've already downloaded and printed, so I'm not going to worry about that. But here's my starter file, and it's going to show up down here in the bottom corner. If you don't see it down here in the left-hand corner, make sure your screen is full, um, is maximized. And that way, when you click on the documents, they're going to show down here in the right-hand corner. If your screen's not maximized, you might not see it down here in the corner. Now, when you're working on your projects for this class, please remember that a PC is going to work the best for you. You might have some difficulties trying to complete this class using a Mac, and Google Docs will not work. You must use Microsoft Office. So I'm going to open up here my starter file for my Word 1 project one. Again, I'm going to make it full screen size here so I can see it. You might get this yellow bar up here. That just means that it's trying to keep you safe. If you're not sure of where your file came from, you don't want to open it. We know this is safe, so I'm going to click Enable Editing. And the first thing it asks me to do is to save as Word 1 Project 1 with your last name. So I'm going to come up here to File, and I'm going to go to Save As, and I'm going to Browse. Now you might do this a little differently. This is the way I do it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just put this, um, I'm going to go to my documents folder and I'm going to make a new folder in here and I'm going to call this computer class and all of my documents for this class I'm going to save in here. So now I'm going to click on that computer class to open it and here's my what I need to name my file and instead of starter file there I'm going to add my last name and I'm going to say save. So now I know where that document's going to be. And up here at the top you see it now says Word 1 Project 1 Sessions and that it's saved. So I've got my file saved and the first thing and step one it asks me to change the document theme colors to blue warm. You always want to read all of your instructions. So to change that document theme, I'm going to come up here to my design tab. I'm going to go to themes, and here's all the different themes that I could change it to. Crossing on over, I've got some other formatting options. And then right next to that, I have colors, and this is where I can change my document theme color. So I'm going to click on here and I want to change this one to blue warm. You might not see a little bit any difference at this point but when we go make some changes the colors will be different. My title here I want to change to capitalize each word. Now you could go in and you could just highlight make it capital S, capital T, but there's a way you can do it all at the same time. I'm going to highlight that on my home tab. Right over here in my font menu I have change case and I have change it to center case. I can change everything to lowercase or uppercase or I can capitalize each word or I can even toggle the case between upper and lower. I just want to capitalize each word and it's going to automatically do it for me. I want to change the font size to 36. So I can come over here and I can either click on this big A and every time I click it, it's going to increase my font size. So I'm going to, or I can click on this little arrow and then click 36. Either way will work. And then I'm going to, if I apply the fill, blue gray, accent, color one, shadow, text effect. That is right here. You've got this little ghostly A on the font menu. That's the text effects and typography skill. So I'm going to click on that little A right there and I'm going to find the one that is the blue gray accent color one shadow. And if you, as you move your mouse over the different uh, options, then the name of that option will come up and you might have to 
look a little bit, sometimes they're not in alphabetical order, but that's the one we want for here. The last thing that we want to do here on step two is center the paragraph. So up here in paragraph, I'm going to just center it. So in step three, we're going to come down here and we're going to resize our picture. So I'm going to come down here to um, the picture and select it. You know what's selected because you have the sizing handles available around the sides. And up here on the toolbar, you now have picture tools. So you've got all these different options on the ribbon. If I click off the picture, you can see that picture toolbar goes away. If I click on the picture, now it's back. So if you don't see this picture tools, make sure you have that picture selected. I'm going to click on that format tab, and here's all the options that I can mess with with my picture. First thing we want to do is we're going to make this picture six inches wide. So over here on the far right hand side is the size, and here's the height, and here's the width, and I'm just going to highlight that and change it to six, and then hit enter. You can see how it made it larger there. And then I want to apply a simple frame black picture style. So over here are some picture styles. If I click on the little more button here, this third one on the second column, at least in my, yours might be in a different location on your computer, but if you move your mouse over it, it says simple frame black. I'm going to click on that, and it's going to put a black frame around my picture. Step four, we're going to underline some text. So we're going to go to the three hour sessions right here underneath the picture. And I want to underline it. And I'm going to use this little, this little toolbar that comes up here is called a floating toolbar. It will go away. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. They put it in there so you don't have to move your mouse as far. So some of the main options are included on the floating toolbar. They're also on the main toolbar. But underline is this U with the little line. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to underline. I'll scroll on down here. Number five, we want to italicize some text. Um, the safe workplace, we want to italicize, so we're going to highlight that text. Then up here on our little floating toolbar, we've got the little I for italicize. You can see where it says italic, parenthesis, control, plus I, close parenthesis. That control plus I is a keyboard shortcut. So if I was to hold down on the control key and then click the I key at the same time on my keyboard, it would, ital it would make italics whatever I have selected. So that's the keyboard shortcut for that. Number six, we want to bullet the four paragraphs of text above the signature line. Now the signature line is your last line. So this line down here is our last line. And in Word, every time you hit the Enter key, you, you are selecting a new paragraph. So up here on the Home tab, if I click on the Show Hide button, which is this backward P, you can see all these little backward P's. Those are, par those are when you've hit the Enter key. So here's one paragraph. Here's two paragraphs. Because anytime you hit that paragraph key, you've had a new paragraph. So the last line, here's the paragraph, so all of this is the last paragraph that's called the signature line, and we've got these four paragraphs above. So I'm going to select these four paragraphs with my mouse, and up here on the Home tab in my paragraph, I've got my bullets, and I'm going to click on there to bullet those four lines of text above the signature line. Now we want to save change the text of the bulleted list to Book Antiqua. So up here on the font, I can click on this arrow, and here's all the different types of fonts that you can choose from. And we're going to, there in alphabetical order, we're going to select Book Antiqua. We want to change the font color. So hereby with this A with the red line underneath it, I'm going to click on a little arrow. This is my font color, and we're going to change it to dark purple, text two, so we're going to be right there. And if you don't see the dark purple, then you might have selected the wrong colors theme clear back in step one. Now we're going to change the font size from 14 to 12. Number eight, now we're going to shade a paragraph. Now shading a paragraph is different than highlighting. We're going to come down here and we're going to select this paragraph. Over here in the font, you've got a little pin with a 
line. This is the text highlight. That's just going to highlight the word or a letter. Over here in the paragraph grouping where you have the paint can, this is the shading. This is where we can shade the entire paragraph. And we want it we want to uh, shade this dark purple text to lighter 80%. So here's dark purple text to, move it down one, there's dark purple text to lighter 80%. So you can see that whole paragraph is now shaded and selected. Now in the same paragraph, I'm going to select it again, we want to change the spacing to 12 point before the paragraph and six points after the paragraph. And what we're talking about there is the space between the lines. So I'm gonna come up here and on my paragraph grouping, here is my paragraph line and paragraph spacing. I'm gonna go line spacing options. And right here is before. We want before to be 12 point. So I'm just gonna click on that twice. And after, we want to be six point. And we're gonna say okay. And it's just going to move it just a little bit. Now we want to insert a picture and the blank line at the bottom of the page. So um, right down here, I've got a blank line right down here. Picture here. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to say save image as and I'm going to put it in my pictures folder. I'm just going to leave it the same name. Say save and now I'm going to go back to Word and I'm going to go back to Pictures and now here it is in my picture document. So that's how you're going to save your picture. And I'm going to insert. You can see now it makes it go to the second page and we're going to get rid of all those pages here in a minute. Um, we're going to resize the picture. So we're up here back to our picture tools and this time we're going to go height of 0 .08. So instead of 3.02 we want this to be 0.8 and it puts it at the bottom and then we want to add a border to it so we're going to go up here to picture border and we want the weight we want it to be one point so we're going to come down here to one point going to come back up here to picture border and i'm going to make it dark purple text too so there's a dark purple. And now we want the dashed style. So I'm going to come back up here to picture border. I'm going to come up here to dashes. And I want this third one. So I'm going to make little dashes around it. We're going to check the spelling and grammar. So when I check spelling and grammar, I usually move back up to the top of the page. So I'm going to come back up here to the top, make my insertion point at the beginning. But I'm going to review. And I'm going to come over here, the very far left is the spell check. And so illness is spelled wrong, so I'm going to click down here on the suggestion because that's what I want. And this is a name, and that's okay. What it is, it's underlined in red because it's not in Word's spell check document, in Word's dictionary. So we can either add that to the dictionary, if that's a name that we're going to use a lot, or I'm just going to ignore. And that's complete. Now down at the bottom of your page, you're going to see in the left-hand corner, it's page one of two. We only want this to be on one page, so I'm going to clim clear down here, and I'm going to just hit backspace and get rid of all these different lines. And the very last thing, and I messed it up at the top, we want to add our first and last name to the footer of our document. So clear down here in the bottom, just double click and this file was created specially for and you just want to enter in your name and then we can close the header or footer and we need to get rid of these lines there we go again just make sure that it's on one page to put that back. Redo. Up here at the top is undo and redo. There we go. So this is how your page should look. So now you're going to save it. So up here with the icon you can just click save. Now we're going to close Word. Going to go back to Blackboard 
And right here, when finished, be sure to click Submit. But before you do that, you need to attach files. You can go attach.